Linga li chona njani zuluganda pa mtoka sa mwote Zimbabwe mwote kwa zwa kwa zwa kwa zwa kwa zwa Zimbabwe ndino mkamichira mchongwa chedu chewe chitiki Ushe lo The Connection lilami o Mike Hove Welcome, welcome, welcome Zimbabwe mwote to The Connection A Studio 7's uh, very own youth program That targets tackling anything and everything youth related We're coming to you from my couch in uh, Maryland, Washington DC On Tuesday the 5th of May 2020 uh, Ontanga zimbapo mwote Zimbabwe mwote once again at Tino Tonight on The Connection, we focus on Umkutane where coronavirus, we focus on coronavirus, COVID-19, how is it affecting the world uh, at large? Uh, but we're not just looking to focus on how it's affecting the world at large, but we're also looking to zone in on Zimbabwe and figure out and highlight some of the causes uh, that youth have going on in the nation that are currently helping uh, a lot of people uh, that are facing struggles, uh, such as, you know, uh, food shortages, uh, shortage of water, and so forth. So that's what we're going to have uh, tonight on The Connection as we uh, continue our coverage on coronavirus. Now, as we speak, when we're talking numbers, uh, Maria Zimbabwe, over 3,600,000 people worldwide have currently tested positive for COVID-19. This is an increase of over 600,000. Uh, worldwide from the last time we spoke because the last time we spoke it was over three slightly over three million now as for the death toll itself i'm reading on the uh, website for uh, john hopkins a university uh the death toll is currently at over 251,960. that is worldwide and the number is increasing as we speak now in zimbabwe the numbers are uh as stands 34 people have tested positive for covid 19 Four have died, and fortunately, five people have recovered. Now, Muria Zimbabwe, for those that seem to have forgotten, last week, as we take a step back, um, last week on the 1st of May, Sibone Omongameli Emerson Mnangako, President Emerson Mnangako announcing However, phase two. The lockdown is going to be in phase two. Now, what this means for those that do not understand is phase two currently has a, a, a less uh, restrictions uh, in comparison to phase one. Now, for some people that don't know what this means, it means in phase two, some industries are bound to open. Uh, and of course, as these industries open, government has set aside certain regulations that have to be put in place before uh, these companies open. And secondly, another condition that was uh, placed uh, in phase two by government is that and this also means lockdown phase two some certain rules are still in place social distancing and so forth uh, so that's what it means uh, we uh, look forward to having our medical expert who's going to be joining us uh, who's going to be breaking down what it means the differences between phase one and phase two uh to know talk south africa phase four what do all these phases entail and what do they mean but before we head over to dr smemeza let's see what was he doing uh over the weekend uh we saw a minister of health a uh, dr obedaya moyo he was addressing the media announced last week friday muswa one may uh, that Chirongwache Urumendeche lockdown is going to be continuing. A uh, Dr. Uh, Obedaya Moyo on a Saturday, the following morning, addressed the media whereby he was basically breaking down. Uguti, what does it mean? Uh, how are all these restrictions going to be put in place? And secondly, when we talk about industries opening and employers getting their employees tested, how are all these things going to happen? Let's take a look at a video that we have, uh, courtesy of the uh, Ministry of Health and Child Care. This video is available on their Facebook page, whereby Dr. Obadiah Moy addressed the media over the weekend. Firstly, designated government, mission hospitals, and local authorities, institutions that conduct routine screening and medical examinations for workers, will now also conduct COVID-19 rapid testing. Secondly, selected private facilities for rapid COVID-19 testing 
They've also been identified and will soon be announced. Thirdly, outreach teams will be deployed with support from some of our partners to facilitate the testing of employees at the respective workplaces. The Minister of Health and Child Care will expedite testing both at designated facilities and at the respective workplaces. Rapid screening will allow us to carry out a surveillance screening which will enable us to have a general picture of the country's COVID-19 status while we continue with the PCR diagnostic testing in order to establish the definitive COVID-19 status of the country. All right, as Lugandaba Liamuzo, Honorable uh, Dr. Obedaya Moyo, he is uh, the uh, Minister of Health. What steps are they going to be taking to ensure Oguti phase two goes into uh, implementation properly? Second, do you know that you have to say 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 that we're also going to be focusing on the abantu abasakhula yo vechidiki vari kuite imunyika eh tinonzi vavechidiki kune vachidiki vakawanda vane zvirongwa eh zvakatangwa zvine chinangwa chekubatsira vanhu vari kusangana nematambudzo kakasiyana siyana in the country during the national lockdown for those that we are tuning in via radio, Tripa uh, Tripa Nine O Nine Medium Wave Frequency, Sikona Jalo Four Nine Three Zero, Go Six Zero Four Zero, Jalo Go One Five Four Six Zero Kilohertz, Go Short Wave. I must remind you, Muriel Zimbabwe, this program is pre-recorded. Uh, so for those that are looking to watch the program on Facebook, this program will be available on our three Facebook pages soon after the broadcast. Uh, those being a VOA Shona, a VOA Ndebele, Ichange Ripo Zukare, a VOA Studio Seven. Magati rachirongo chedu chewe chitiki. Ushelo the connection. Lilami u Mike Hove. Once again, once again, once again, Muria Zimbabwe, for those that are just tuning in, you're tuned into The Connection with your boy, Mike Wove. Now, for those that are looking to chat with me on social media, I'm going to go Twitter, and go Instagram, at Big Mike 3, B-I-G-M-Y-K-E 3. We are going to is pre-recorded, uh, so uh, you are not you're not able to join us uh, as per uh, our usual broadcast. I'm going to go to the studios. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has us working from home. Just the name is Mbabu, it's the panel, but you don't want to do it, Nikki. Oh, hello, the connection, Lilami, oh, my God. So now, earlier on, you saw a video of our uh, honorable Dr. Uh, Obedaya Moyo, the Minister of Health. Obe Tasisa Nyempe Luguti, Jengoba Ilis, we're selling Geni Lepela, Gushanda Lesibili, with phase two uh, of, uh, e, you know, e lockdown. E, a lot of restrictions are going to be uh, lifted or lessened. Uh, for example, some industries are going to reopen. However, before all these things happen, there are certain things that are these are companies that are within these specific industries have to do before they reopen their doors for business. One of them being uh, all employees need to be tested for umkoshane or coronavirus. Taganzo Shikari, our Ichi announced that now that we're in phase two, uh, one most important thing that Munuese we chizara chizimbabwe rukara muzimbabwe vanya tuziwa dijeguti it's a very important Munuese agufana kupfeka ma mask kana uchungo buda panze it's become mandatory for you to wear a mask. Now let's head over to an interview that I had Lotto Gotela Tino Tendas Memeza. Ah, yeah. Now he breaks down the difference between one, uh, phase one and phase two, and he also uh, we also touch on several different things that are happening worldwide that pertain to umkutane or coronavirus.
The pleasure. Uh, you know, that's what I talk about. Uh, let's touch on the topic, uh, coronavirus. Um, let's start off with uh, what's happening in the world, Africa in general, and then we'll narrow down to Zimbabwe. Uh, in the world, we see the number has increased by 600,000 since the last time we spoke, which was on Tuesday. And the number mm -hmm. is still continuously is growing, even though people are still trying to take more preventative measures. Um, could you say that uh, the world is performing better, considering that there's now more people being tested and, you know, more people are, are being highlighted, uh, having tested positive for COVID-19? Yes, um, I think from what's been happening, um, we are doing better um, in terms of uh, the number of tests that are being conducted throughout the world. And also in terms of the preventative measures that are being taken, I think Chukwona and Wakanda have to a mask, and uh, also they are disinfecting their workplaces if they are at work. So we are doing better. It's just that uh, the the virus, the coronavirus itself, it's highly infectious. Mm -hmm. So we are sort of like uh, competing with it, but uh, we are improving week by week. Now, let's look at what's happening, uh, our neighbors, South Africa. Uh, we see mm -hmm. South Africa is now in phase four of a lockdown. Um, mm -hmm. However, they seem to be adapting very well. Uh, they're using technology and drones even as a means of monitoring what's happening uh, with regards to COVID-19. Uh, how would you rate their performance as a country? I think South Africa is in, definitely in the top five of, uh, in terms of how countries are managing COVID-19. And also, they seem to be well prepared. I remember uh, last week I was talking to a doctor. They were saying, okay, we are prepared for the patients, but there seem to be a few patients that are actually going to the hospital with COVID-19 because uh, I think they've taken enough measures to prevent. Although the numbers of positives are still increasing, but uh, I think they are at a better place uh, in terms of preparation. Um, so, yeah, I think South Africa is doing well. Uh, I think they should continue like that. Um, I don't know as they progress and when as they uh, become more less in the lockdown situation, how it's going to be. But I think they've done well so far. All right. Tochi Tarisa Zurukitika with Zimbabwe. Now we see uh, Zimbabwe is now in phase two of the lockdown. Uh, and it comes with a lot of conditions. A lot of people don't even understand. Uh, some people are asking, when did we start phase one? How did we get to phase two? Um, yeah. Before we even delve deeper, could you break down to people the difference between these phases and what does it mean when people say Zimbabwe is now in phase two of the lockdown? I think uh, according to what the, the Minister of Health was, uh, if the report that I saw, they were saying, was, uh, we were also surprised. We, we didn't know that which phase we were in. Uh, we, just, we just knew that we were in, on full lockdown. And then we sort of like downstage to phase two, which is in simple terms, they're just saying uh, they're allowing the formal uh, sort of like traders and formal workplaces to function under stringent uh, conditions. And uh, the informal sector is, uh, still remains under lockdown. Mm -hmm. So that's mainly the difference to say the formal sector is uh, starting to, 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 to run, but the informal sector is still on hold. All right, so that's let me kind of you there for one second. Let me just uh, pretty much translate what you were saying for our Ndebele listeners, uh, because there's some people who might not understand what's been going on who are strictly Ndebele people, all right? So just hold on for one second, yeah? So Zuluga Dabaliamuzo Umnumza na Uto Wote Latino Tenda Smemeza, we are showing in Belu Wutsi, in the Okala Ubonangani, Loko Gonzagala Yum Shabini Chigelele, Uti I Ubonangan Umshaba Wonke Chigelele is now performing better, Nasis Kuruma Engen Daba Yu Vigela Ugu Memeteka Gum Kushano coronavirus, and if you lengamuza nate a skangala loko when Zagala Yugele South Africa, Yena Uti Ninga Loko when Zagala Yugele South Africa, Sia Muzuto Wotela Uti and Ubonangani Jeng Elizu is South Africa is performing our uh, best. Oh, Shilong and Bella, what's top five? M. Shabini Chigele, the Bayan Gena and Bella Bayan Gena, and you pin the Gambus and Nazi. So, in Jengoba, a Elizabeth Zimbabwe, and every year, you listen to Monga Mel Emerson and Nangaka, a city, a Elizabeth 
Zimbabwe uhle lo lockdown eh, luza velo kubeke la pambili loko kusho kutini njalo hii nume shugo oko na pagati kwe phase 1 njalo i phase 2 yena uti hai eh, if ume shugo oko na gui uguti eh, gula manyama conditions ase kona eh, wana that allow eh, ama industries uguti avule ika kuluga zila baba kuforma u industry upinde wa kasa ngembele uguti hai eh, segule the other laws as a corner and general, uh, for example, who Korama mask, we should want to come into Korama mask is now mandatory that are all part of a phase two. So, oh, nanny, eh, a see Lisa Guzwa, see Kubela Pamili, see Kota Lord Tino Tender. Um, so Tino, now back to you. Um, you highlighted the differences between phase one and two, and I- I'm glad you also highlighted that a lot of people didn't even know when phase one, when we were actually in phase one and phase two. Um, one of the conditions that you highlighted uh, is that now it's become mandatory for everybody to wear masks. Now, um, I remember when this whole coronavirus thing started, the relevance of the mask was that for those people who have tested positive for COVID-19, when you're wearing a mask, it doesn't spread. And I remember very well, a lot of people were saying the mask that you have to wear have to be in a specific condition. But now as time has gone by, we see people have now uh, people are now using handmade masks, uh, and that's what they're using as masks and so forth. With mm-hmm. that all in mind, how relevant is the mask, and why is it that governments across the world are starting to enforce that people wear masks? Okay. I think, uh, let me just start by saying, uh, wearing a mask uh, does not prevent you from getting the disease. I think people should uh, really understand this. That kupeka uh, mask a ku prevent a kutu one chi chiwere uh chi utachuana we COVID nineteen. We have to also practice social distancing. We have to also practice strict hygiene, washing of hands. So uh, you see that uh, throughout the world, um, uh, most governments are now saying everyone should wear a mask. So the the purpose of a mask is such that when you are infected with the disease. You won't spread it to others mm-hmm. because the uh, virus is really spread. When my droplets, I think my particles, I think I have my own or my own So can I not have a mask? It prevents uh, the the droplets from what from going on the ground or go, going directly to other people. Mm-hmm. So they've seen that it's better for everyone, whether you you are you tested positive or you haven't tested yet, to wear a mask. Because uh, the rate at which we are testing is not enough so that we test everyone and find out who is positive and who is negative. So it's now necessary to take a mask so it's such that you prevent uh, uh, spread of the COVID-19. Now, before we even touch on the testing bit, uh, because I want us to delve deeper, let's go back to phase two. Um, does... Does these relaxed conditions of phase two mean that life in Zimbabwe is slowly going back to normality? Well, um, it, it, it essentially means that uh, I think we are trying to keep the economy afloat. Uh, from what I'm um, studying, what the ministry is doing is just basically trying to resuscitate parts of the economy so that uh, it doesn't collapse uh, totally. Mm-hmm. So to say life is going back to normal, I no. Not necessarily, uh, because uh, it, it doesn't mean uh, if we announce the defeat, we are now on phase two, it means coronavirus is now has ended. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. Iowa. It's just that you know, we're trying to, they're trying to balance, I think, the economies of scale to see uh, that the con- economy doesn't totally collapse. But I, 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 life is not going back to normal. Um, so I basically, doctor is it's still in certain conditions. For example, when I ask you, I want to go Buddha, say my dear Georgina, but you know, Sangana, Gwagwa, Kwete, Gwagwa, Gare, Muzimba, Chirongwa, Chelok, as per the requirements, Chirongwa, Chelok, Dark. Uh-huh. Okay. As, as, as you, see, you see the conditions that are attached to those, you see everyone who's working at the company has to be tested, and uh, there should be strict hygiene at the companies, Varukfan, Aku, disinfect at the the place, so it's it's really under stringent uh, conditions. So we, we on paper it's it might work, but uh, you know uh, practicability of it is still to be determined. Right now, it's a good thing you touched on the companies, uh, the responsibility that the companies are. Uh, we saw Mtungamiro Enyika Urumendi Yosepatejai 
Vaka announced OT with the opening of certain industries, some companies have to take certain precautions to ensure mm -hmm. that they can reopen, but it's very safe. One of them was that they were saying to my employees, now, a lot of companies have turned around and said, but this is very expensive. So I figured, let me come to you as the doctor. Question number one, how expensive is it for people to get tested? Is it free, Munika? Um, for, for, I think for those uh, uh, who are at workplaces like us who are working in, for, for, at Parreña Atua and the hospitals, we haven't been paying for anything. I think mm -hmm. the ministry has been covering that. Uh, so as to say to how much it is exactly, I haven't heard uh, how much people are paying in private, uh, in terms of the private sector. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're paying something, but I, I'm not sure as to how much. But for us who have been in government, we haven't paid anything. But mm -hmm. to, uh, to just to say, um, there are two types of tests mm -hmm. uh, that are being done uh, for COVID-19. So we have the rapid uh, uh, test uh, is essentially just an antibody test. Mm -hmm. So test, you know, there is some masoja, a mumuiri, arku ari agi arku atakachi COVID nineteen kana kana unao kana utu usina. Saka kana une ma masoja mumuiri aya, which means unengo wakampo infectwa. Either you are you currently have an infection or you have been infected before. So it's not really uh, specific. Say, uh, mm -hmm. does it, they do they have an infection right now? Mm -hmm. Then the other test, uh, which is um, the recommended one, uh, it's almost uh, above ninety percent uh, guaranteed that it's uh, it's correct. It's the PCR test. Mm -hmm. So in one, they take uh, my swabs from the nose and also from the mouth, mm -hmm. and then they run it under a machine. Then if it tests positive, it's more likely that you're actually having an active infection. The, then so these two tests uh the, the 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 pcr test is the one that we recommend mm -hmm. it is the one that's required mm -hmm. to surely say that this person has covid or doesn't have covid mm -hmm. so i don't know um i think i, I just read it passingly that uh, the government is saying uh, people should go uh, do rapid testing mm -hmm. which is okay as a screening too but it's not really uh, specific Mm -hmm. Right, Tochi Bata Nyaye testing. Um, Trukona, the number in Zimbabwe is, is slowly increasing the amount of tests being done. Uh, last week, Takakurukura Nyaye Nyaye government was now welcoming the idea of private players coming in and also partaking in the testing process and the managing of COVID related cases. Um, mm -hmm. Nema you how would you now rate the performance in Zimbabwe in terms of uh, managing uh, coronavirus? I think uh, from from our discussion last week, we had just uh, started doing better in terms of uh, the number of PCR tests that were being done. Uh, I also know the, the, they've been also doing uh, rapid tests uh, as a screening uh, measure. So the numbers had actually uh, started to improve. But now with the unlocking, uh, uh, going back to phase two, uh, I, I'm not sure how we're going to monitor uh, the spread of the disease uh, and ensure that what has been written on paper in terms of what the companies are supposed to do is being done. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a bit 50-50 uh, as to how we are going to manage the situation from now, because we had just started doing better in terms of testing people, but now we're opening up the economy. So... It's, 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 it's a bit difficult to judge at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Let me translate for our listeners. Uh, so, yebo gambi zuluganda pali amuso uto gote la chino tenda smemeza. Lapa uvi kasa nge mbela nga loko wenza galayo kwele South Africa. Njalo sipinde sambuza nga loko wenza galayo eli zwe ni si zwe nge vige lule. Ang ono sun Friday, mshaka one May. Sizo umonga mili emasa na mnanga kwa ese announce siti ushe lo luga kolo mende olwe lockdown. Luza be luko vige la pambi li gotwa. Eh, sisi gu phase two jenga lizwe. Eh, gushubuti ni gu sisi gu phase two gushubuti. Gula maya ma conditions le akumbula gu phase one. Eh, aman kampani ai na kunywe lugu seven zavile. There were limited companies that were working. Ah, uh, sisi njalo uguti. Wangu muntu gua gumele ashale endlini. Eh, labo ababe puma ababe puma be na kuganga impasha zoguzvige la ma mask. 
Wotwa njengu wa sisi figi legu phase 2 Gusho kutini Gu phase 2 e, Sebe avula pela ama industry Achiene yo Wotwa bati Banga kavu ni pela ama industry Lawa e, Ama nkampa nguza mele Atata ama nye Asinga tinge singe Ama precautionary measures Gusho kuti Wonku muntu Segu oza bevula Ama, ama nkampa ni abo Ama employees Laba ba seven zayo Guza mele ba sholwe They must be checked uh, For COVID-19 Engi pilega mbuza peluto Gote loguti Kanti kashe kashe guza Begu seven zanjali Was kasela ngembe Loguti Gule ndela eh, ezi mpili Zogu shola Unkushani uwe coronavirus eh, Upinde wapata Utaba le, eh, Rapid testing Loku kanya ngani Gwenza gala yo Ema Ezbeja le ez chene yo eh, Wati njalo Gule ndela Which is a more uh, Esengati More accurate Masis kangela uguti umuntu ulalo na e, umkushano lo we coronavirus. So yena uti hai, yebo i rapid testing it happens gotwa. E, but a gumele banga kichimeli ugu yoi seven saleo rapid testing. Gumele bazame ugu shola ngenjela e kondileyo. Sipinda sambu za pela uguti. Jengo ba sesu gu phase two siyes wa umungu e, uhulu mende siti. Abantu se gumele ba pume yebo baya puma be kogama masu so gotwa sebe vunye lo gupuma. E, lo kugu Show would see in water high, a bon and jenga boat to go tell her they're not sure yet in jenga over a sea sand who began up in a phase two who can look on a good see as we proceed is in those is a way the humble journey what um gena go phase two doesn't mean a life is back to normalcy a emitter to one who lumen the a would say woman lately shall end in the lyric up by the emitter to a big a social distancing Gumele e yenzi we abantu ushelo lo lusa kubegela pambili so wangu mundo puma yo nga upuma gumele ukoge i mask imbasha zo uzu vigela njalo eman e e e e e eman e in the houses gumele li shoni pepela umteto owe social distancing now uh doc back to you um yes we we see what's happening in the country uh as the lockdown procedure continues um, some of the things that people are being urged to do is u- the usage of public transport. But now, Panema Vita, Chukwona, Panema Nwa, Jinji, Warupinda, Mabaza, Vani Waka Wanda, Chukwadi. As medical experts, how would you say people need to go about ensuring that, A, the industry itself is upheld in a manner that uh, coronavirus doesn't spread, and B, people can keep their safety within these buses? Within this process, I think uh, the, the main uh, struggle that we are having in that regard is that uh, people have to use public transport. There, the, there are few options, and uh, people have to use buses uh, and so forth. But I think um, for that to to be effective, uh, also the, the the buses not need not to be overloaded. That's uh, first and foremost, and also we they need to disinfect the 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 the, the, the public transport systems regularly frequently and people also need to actually uh, wear masks in the in those uh, uh public uh spaces and also practice social distances mm-hmm. and and it's it's a diff- it's difficult to implement uh, it was uh, disinfecting and so forth it requires money it requires resources so I'll say the use of public transport, uh, should, we, we should keep on evaluating it. Uh, otherwise, uh, it might result in um, increase in cases. But we should really continue to practice strict hygiene, no matter where we are. Now, talking about testing, the procedure behind testing, um, mm-hmm. I'm sure to we need to better testing, we need to increase testing, we need to increase testing. But the ordinary citizen doesn't understand what you do testing. Now, uh-huh. I, I need you uh, to break down the procedure behind being tested. In such a Zimbabwe, let's say, can I just walk mm-hmm. up to a testing facility and I want to go to the test and so I feel like I'm going to coronavirus? Or what's the procedure behind that? Okay, so the procedure was to say, and changatiri pa lockdown and it. if someone, if if you have any questions, if you have developed symptoms, you phone twenty nineteen. Saka waka phone up a toll free number. Then, oh, you you then the procedure was then if you have the symptoms and the relevant history uh, that shows that you are COVID nineteen or suspected COVID nineteen, why wa wa no testwa, kunana walkins and so forth. So 
the procedure was to say if you're symptomatic, um, that's how you would uh, go about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now, I think uh, the, the, uh, since uh, they're saying those who have opened up my industry, everyone should be tested. It's mandatory. Uh, I was working for a company, Munwesarukushandra, my company, Arkunza Avure, Anufana, who test uh, Initially, we did rapid testing, which I said it's not really uh, specific, but then we also know to wait and say. But the procedure is to say you need a PCR to either to confirm or to negate you having the virus. Mm -hmm. Saka, so, uh, let's say um, in Angu, I suspect in the phone number. Uh, mm -hmm. Does this mean that for now, Tanga na nona doctor, doctor, and profile letter? Then uh, what does this mean? No, no, no. I think uh, it means you uh, they, they, you call the toll-free number, then you then uh, they tell you the procedure to go to Wilkins or to go where the testing is being done. Uh, you, I don't, you don't necessarily need a referral letter. Was a nyaya referral letter on or you are supposed to go directly to where the COVID testing is being done. So changa chuona kuse paswa gaeta kuna maospira na pari nyaya tuwa kutiwa na wangwa chita wangwa chisika wangwa chita ngawa screenwa screening it means uh, you get your temperature checked uh, you get uh, a history taken yekuo na kuti is there travel history or kama better contact nemu na ni uta chuona ere and so forth then kana u u chmita that criteria ndo pa ono no testwa now talk. Um, uh, uh, time, unfortunately, is running out. But uh, as we wrap up our conversation, I want to talk about uh, South Africa and Zimbabwe. Uh, uh -huh. South Africa, we're looking at, to date, over 230,000 uh, coronavirus tests that have been done. Because Zimbabwe, uh -huh. we're just over, I believe, 10 or 11,000. Um, uh -huh. What does this suggest about the process uh, of testing being done in Zimbabwe? Do you think that this is something we need to up? And if so, how do we go about upping it? Because we see government is already trying rapid testing, inviting private players to come in and partake in the testing process. What else do we need to do to get to a stage and point whereby we can say, ah, Nesu, Tashika to over 200,000 tests? Okay, I think uh, the difference with what was being done uh, in South Africa, I think we Takambo Stara could have capacity in terms of uh, the resources and how we are going about it. South Africa, um, the, the reason why it has done so many tests is actually, I think President Ramaphosa a couple of weeks ago instructed the, 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 the ministry to do community uh, testing. Which is different from what we are doing. We, uh, someone has to present to a facility whereby the testing is done so that they are tested. So you see, there was a lot of community-based uh, health uh, uh, health uh, facilitation in South Africa. That's mm -hmm. why my numbers are Aka Kura Kudaro. And then I think for us to do better, we also need to get uh, the, the 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 as many kits as possible, and also do the same, such that uh, we uh, uh, we test more people, uh, and uh, such that it's easier for people to access uh, the tests if you are doing communal-based communal, communal -based, uh, testing. All right, hold on there for one second. Uh, so, Zuluganda Bali Amuzo Uto Wotela Tino Tenda Simemeza, Nyambuza Nyempelu Guti, Indio Kala Uta Baloma Mask Elizwe Ni Ha, Si Bengimbuza Nisiti, Ama Mask Aka Tegile Oonga Gana Ni Enu Uto Wotela Watai, Ama Mask Aka Tegile Yo Nyempela, 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 Kotwa, Ukoga a mask does not mean uuti engege uba drink na lum kushane we coronavirus. It's uba lisa kona. Gotwa e ugu ka tegile ngwa uyoguti e gula ku ugu vigela ugu memetega gwa lum kushane. Nipidega mbuza njalo u ngotaba loguti abantaba ningi baya kutazwa pela uguti ba tata ma pas uguti ba gote nda wene chene yo. E yena uti mm, kanyangani guya shupa utaba lolu ngengwa yoguti e gunzi mapela uguti abantu ba practice pela e, e minimiteto e for example e social distancing when use pasini e ngengwa yoguti abantu ba yenge na pele ma pasini lao bakwele 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 ngembele uti yena ukuta 
bazaza uh, abantu who are within the passing industry ukuthi into yokuqala babazami phela ukusanitize amabaso laba eh, abashayeli of uh, abuzukho and so forth kumele basanitize phela amabaso abo ukuze bazame labo ukuvikela ukumemetheka kwalomkhuhlane we coronavirus ngiphinde ngambuza njalo ngalokho kwenzakalayo kwele South Africa silinganisa eh, ngalokho kwenzakalayo elizweni siyabona phela eh, kwele South Africa soku labantu abedlula 230000 abasebehlolwe eh be khangela phela ukuthi abantu balalo na umkhuhlane lo we coronavirus elizweni just over 10 or 11000 abantu abasebehlolwe eh yena uthi eh kwele South Africa this has happened the number so big ngenxa yokuthi eh like la khumbula phela umongameli semiro ramaphosa uke wayenza phela uhlelo lwe community based testing behamba beqoqoda qoki qoki befika uh, at people's houses bands are matches and zabo. So Uti and Kanyangani, the community uh, based initiatives is something that has helped. Um so Doc, as we wrap up our conversation, um question one is would you do you think that this is about a time that Zimbabwe needs to start assessing whether or not we should step into uh the uh door to door uh testing facilities? Yes, uh, I think uh, we need that. Uh, we we definitely need to do as much testing uh, as possible. So to do to plan and to do a community based uh, testing will be good mm-hmm. because this will um, you you get to identify where the epicenter is. Mm-hmm. When you identify kuti chakanyanya this area. You, you get get then get to go there and do community testing there so that people are aware could you know in in the nature where in in antina such that by natural they go under self-isolation and uh asina they continue to practice uh good hygiene and social distances such that they don't get the the, the virus so community we should really think about it so as to decentralize as well um our, our, from our hospital so that the vanawanyanya ku wandira kunu kumwe chete mhm community based testing one one ngwa ku kwansa ku test waka kawanda one now uh that we see uh zurugit kamunyeka a lot of youth are starting to use social media and so forth as a means of spreading awareness uh with regards to covid-19 uh as we look at the trends of what's happening in the nation do you think that these uh, awareness campaigns are helping Yes, definitely. Mm. I think uh, uh, I always uh, I'm always laughing because I'm getting two or three messages from my grandmother to say this is what is happening in COVID. So be away and so forth. So you can see that social media is really uh, working in terms of uh, spreading information via WhatsApp and so forth. But we should also be wary of uh, false information. Uh, as well so we should also not let our guard down in terms of false uh, information but social media is really helping uh, twitter I, i've been getting most of my ad, my my information from twitter from verified accounts of people who are doing research and other countries on how the progress of the diseases uh, is happening so it's social media is a really important tool that is uh, that we can use uh, to fight uh, covid-19 but also let's keep guard in terms of uh, getting false information and verifying information. 2019, would that be the number to call to verify any information they get on social media? Exactly, yes. Uh, for Zimbabwe, yes. All right. Zuluganda 2019, that's the number to call if you uh, have any questions pertaining to coronavirus, if you're looking to figure out or hear more information with regards to the symptoms. Now, see, he seemed to be uh, highlighting uh, South Africa. East South Africa is one of the countries that are handling the coronavirus very well. So I thought, let me check out some of the numbers and update you all. How well is South Africa faring with regards to managing a COVID-19? Now, I checked out uh, the latest uh, post that was uh, posted on the uh, Department of Health uh, for South Africa. Good Twitter highlights, uh, their latest post highlighted what uh, the results were as of yesterday. Where are they at? As uh, they, according to their post, uh, 7,220 people have tested positive for COVID-19. Where South Africa, 138 dead. 
2,746 have recovered. And to date, South Africa has conducted 257,000 tests. Uh, two thousand. Sorry, I stand corrected. 257,541 tests. Now, as Zimbabwe, the Ministry of Health and Child Care also issued uh, some of their information on their Twitter page uh, that was uh, nine hours ago. Now, their Twitter page highlights some of the statistics. They say, uh, to date, Zimbabwe has conducted 13,000 329 uh, COVID tests. Uh, and of course, of those, uh, 56% of the people that have tested positive uh, for COVID-19, which are, means 19 people are male, and uh, they are between the ages of 15 to 29 years old. So, you know, Lutabe Sila, no nam Tabushelo, Lutabasa Kulayo, Manswama figures is Rubitka, South Africa, and Nuku Zimbabwe. Uh, Sichele Nipela, eh, Umbono, when Umayla na Ngota Bese, la dona Musha Kushelo. Uh, Muriya Zimbabwe, ndigo ku remind dai, uh, Chirongwa Chamagache Reis, which is pre-recorded. So, uh, Silusi is uguti ngege, liene li sunge na Kushelo, njengen tsugwe ni zisine, tripano, pa Chirongwa Chiri Chewe Chitniki, Kushelo, the connection, lilami mi umayko hove. All right, Anzina Tirarira just signal in partnership with Roots Africa Gezai Mawoko. 20 seconds or more, Mujishandisa Sipo. Hey, Mr. Kangan, that number, 2019, is the number to uh, call. Kana Muchi Fungot, and you're looking to find out more information with regards to coronavirus. Now, um, let's check out uh, earlier on. I mentioned Uguti, uh, Namsha Gushe, Los Sabesi, Kangela Jalo Uguti, Aba Cha Elizwe, Ni. Uh, we hear a lot of youth have launched several different initiatives that target helping the less fortunate in the country. Uh, so, several different youths have either uh, come up with initiatives that have either uh, feed, uh, either feeding people, clothing them, and so forth. Amongst them, uh, Gobulawa, you see, uh, going to present was uh, the I am for Bulawa, your fighting COVID 19 organization that uh, started recently. So let's head over to Kosana. Let's hear more about this organization. Sizo njalo guti bona ba bona njani loko wenza galayo elizwe ni. Sizo wenza yuko a mfobula wa fighting COVID nineteen. Sizo kanga le i awareness. Uguta bantu ba begwa zukubana. Lelo tigwane esilisa na lalo. Kau tume tu zebe lalo zulisa na lalo. Umele umta zivigele ngoko kwa mama maski lendo tui physical distancing. Loko keza izanza emanzina kichmayo loko sanitizer enye sila yinda ba yifan raising eskande loko tikona ngoko shangana loko kutu sana kwetu siya wongubula wayo ngoko zwisisa konoko kutu sana kwetu kutu sivu selele nda oze tu zezpedlila for example kula makampani zanje nge panke ipc ele city link asebe kupili malibe tonye chagulelo shelo ilo kutu sitengi ama sanitizer zi ama protective equipment sinigo togote laba sezpedlila ezi cheneyo Ega kulo empilo ema tatei eton krofu e logo vula wespezi la sigan komo e kusile ni metikali. Nye vige dule uhulu 
ukuthile uchele uzulu ukuthi uhlelo lwe lockdown luza kwekela phambili njalo wonke umuntu usokumele aqoke ama impahla yokuzivikela e, ngesingizithi ama masks njengenhlanganiso lekubona njani lokho ndabo ngohulumende ngoku emphasize ukuthi abantu baqoka ama mask ama mask kasonto ekufeshini into yokuthi abantu bazivikele babe kwazi ukuba bengathelelani lelo gcikwane ama mask abuya eyimhlobo etshineyo kulama phiphilana amakhulu asetshenze sibedlela kodwa la lawa nje alohlonzi lobuntu phakathi abantu bengakhobelani umuntu engaqoka qhobela omunye Auschelo kune ngimala nangalokho elikwenzayo njengenhlanganiso okujonge ukusiza abantu kubulawayo kulesikhathi elizweli lisana ngomkhohlane we COVID-19 Eh okukhulu okunye sikwenzayo a mfo bulawayo fighting COVID-19 not only are we doing awareness and the fundraising but also sikhangile ukuphila kwabantu in terms of livelihood likunanzele lile encwadile kubona ukuba na phakathi kwe lockdown esikiwe nale kulezinye imuli ezingela kudla so ku livelihood social protection and livelihood cluster sikhangile khona ukuthi silabadala bethu silaba gogo bethu silentandane silabantu abatsha abangene uziphandela siyabonga ama companies anje ngesitco united refineries koke indlovu kazi group in uk swonge lama individuals swonge even i dhl eh isitco eh leqoke indlovu kazi basiphathisa ngempupho eh phinde sinanzelele ama farmers eh akobulawayo they also provided ama vegetables for his chairs swonge christian alliance that came on board eh with beans eh ukuthi sinika abantu bakithi ukudla ngesikhathi esinje likhangelele ukusiza abantu abangaki go bulawayo isifiso sethu ukuthi sifinyelele izindlu ezifika 10000 kobulawayo not abantu izindlu sikhangela pe household so far we 625 ifi ngoba izandla zathi zimfitshane kodwa ngawo kuyavuma lawo mhlobo wami lapho khona xa ulesifiso sokuchasa lo mkhoso omkhulu ongangotshaka ulelungile lokuxhumana lathi sincedisane silama pick up points atshine kobulawayo where you can easily la donate sincedisane njalo silama i cash pension numbers ethu sidlila siyaphambili ukukhona okho isifiso sethu ukubana xa i lockdown ikhubeka inje abantu bazwisise ukuqakatheka kokuzigcina i covid 19 ikhoni yaphila njoba siyibone ngoko kwamanye amazwe ithintitha eh, amazwe amakhulu abantu ababuzwisise eh, loba bebuyele emsebenzini kabakuzwisisa ukuthi impila kahle ibuya amaqala la makhampani akuzwisisa ukuthi afake impilo zabantu maqala angakakhangela izimali ubona ngani kuzasebenza na ukuthi amankampani asungule inhlelo zokuhlola izisebenzi njengalokho okukhuthazwa nguhulumende ichallenge ekhona ka wakathesi ngikunanzelayo izi ukuthesta ithi individually it's expensive e, kwezinye indawo bathi ngama US dollar of which kungaphezu xa singasebenza ndawonye sibone ngani okuyinto lokho singakunqoba qebe ingxoxo mazibise de la ungxafu ukuxhumana lathi kulo msebenzi omkhulu ongangotshaka ncedisana lathi e, kasoyinto ethu sodwa into ethu sonke isifiso sethu kubana indawo zakobulawayo ikakhulu izibhedlela zivuselelwe ezilungiswe All right, um talk as much like Muriel Zimbabwe that was umnumzana unkosa na mazibisa o enhlanganiso eh I am a four bulawayo fighting a COVID-19. Eh bavha kunzwa kuna ba unkosa na mazibisa eh wechidiki a muzi na bizimusi uyezwe inengo esangano re I am a four bulawayo fighting covid 19 thanga tichi kurukura na bamazivisa tichinzwa kuti kubulawayo ko zvinhu zvakamira se eh Paris zvino eh kubulawayo kune vanhu 12 eva nature were che coronavirus eh saka bamazivisa vanga vachiti aiwa iwo sangana ravo uh which is a compilation of uh vana muzvina bizimusi uh, uh medical personnel and ordinary people within society going to choose that uh, basically it's an organization that is formulated of ama abantu who are in different professions vanga vachiti sangano ravo eh paris zvino eh rine rakatarisira kuita zvinhu zvakasiyana siyana chekutanga is to raise awareness kubulawa yoko eh pamusoro pezwe chirwere che coronavirus eh zvekare vakatarisira kuti eh vari kuunganidza eh chikafu chekupa vanhu nekuti vazhinji just like what's happening in other places eh munyika vari kutarisa nedambudziko renzara uyezve eh dambudziko rekushaikwa kwemvura saka ivo sesangano vari kubatsira vanhu vakatsana nemata 
mutsiko aya enda vanda bvunza zvakare vamazivisa kuti how many people are you looking to help vakat aiwa ivo uh, as an organization are talking to to help 10000 houses kuvulawa yeno kuti vashande are based on people but they uh, work based on houses saka ndiyo nyaya tinayo nasi muchirongwa chedu cheve chidiki uhlelo the connection nilami o Michael Hove kana makatera tichu udze uka maondre nyu pa whatsapp pa namba zinochi plus one two zero two uh, four six five zero three one eight once again muri ya Zimbabwe tina urombo kutatkwanisa ukupa ichirongwa chedu sema zwa ose uh, once again e COVID 19 has made everybody work at home so you cannot call in ngege liye nilise ugungena guhlelo ele lisebensa ingingo Zikipanda poe kama nguma wiza, amekwa edo artist, a.k.a. Mr. Nkulu, Mr. Kiwange Veneki. Guys, COVID-19, abaibiza nge corona, inte kona, pambili nge social distancing, askeze ni zanja, always stay safe, stay home. Pa, last name. Easy, easy, easy machita, easy, easy. Na nguma wiza uti easy machita easy. Ai uya shonge mpelu uti pambi ili pambi ili ngoku keza iza anta. Keza ima oko, keza ima oko, keza ima oko. That was a kwaito artist mawiza. Varu kutu aiwa, varu kuru tira wechit niki. Anzi ah, if you are a mawiza fan, make sure you listen to mawiza. Kezai maoko. Wash your hands 20 seconds or longer. Linga kotlipela. If you suspect Uguti, something may be going on, 2019 is the number to call in Zimbabwe to get more information. Now, earlier on, we played a clip uh, where in an interview that I had, Lo Mnumzana Kosana Mazibisa, young entrepreneur. He's also a member of I am for Blawayo fighting COVID 19. It's an organization uh, that is formulated of medical personnel, people of different professions, entrepreneurs, and so forth uh, in Vlawayo that came together and figured out uh, how to help the, uh, the people of Vlawayo uh, during this time that the nation is fighting COVID-19. Uh, Masibisa highlighted how their organization is raising awareness, uh, raising funds to purchase uh, food uh, to feed people who are the less fortunate in Rulawayo. And also, they're using that money to also resuscitate certain hospitals and clinics in Rulawayo. Now, let's head over to Harare Kuchitungwiza. We have a young lady that I got to catch up with. I know this is Samantha um, Rosoki. Yeah, Samantha has, a, I wouldn't call it a program. It's an initiative that she started randomly up where she was feeding Avanu Ve Kuchitungwiza. Chakatanga, not so long ago, Anga to feed Avanu 34. Now she's feeding hundreds of people a day. Let's head over to an interview that I had. Samantha, this is uh, Samantha, could you tell us a little more about the uh, initiative that you kick-started in your area uh, whereby you were feeding people? What exactly motivated that? Um, the place where the relief kitchen is situated is a place where I used to frequent when I was growing up. My mom bought, built this house in Shtungweza, so I know a lot of people from that area. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went, I decided to spend the lockdown with my little sister, what's the night, and uh, that's when people would come to me and tell me that uh, there's, they have no food or they slept without food or uh, some girls would say we need sanitary pads. So I thought to myself that I could manage to feed these people because I counted them, they were about 15. And I thought I could handle it until the end of lockdown. I can just prepare supper together and then dish for them. So first day, 24 pitched up. Mm -hmm. And the next day, the number doubled. And the third day, the number doubled again. So that's just how everything grew to be as huge as it now because word went round Chitungwiza. It's got so many units, uh, like unit A, B, C, D, E. And uh, people from every unit heard that there was food being given to people, one meal per day. And this is how I have been spending the past 19 days of my life under lockdown. Wow. So I, I, I was reading on social media that uh, you were feeding at least 500 people a day. How's that going so far? Well, the number has increased. Yesterday, it was 848. Wow. And yeah, it's, it's overwhelming, but it's a joy. I don't want to lie. Satisfaction when you dish the last plate and you know that you've catered for everyone. There is no, there is no, there's no word to describe the feeling. Mm-hmm. 
So tell me, yeah. how are you going about accommodating over 800 people, ensuring that they have food on a day-to-day -day basis? Okay, uh, in terms of uh, fundraising, uh, God has been great because the Twitter community and the Facebook community decided to chip in about four days ago. Mm -hmm. And this has helped a great lot because now I'm able to buy food to and, and avoid turning people away. Mm -hmm. And secondly, when it comes to managing the crowd, uh, most people register with us as a family. So it can be a family of six people or a family of 10 or three or two. So we insist that one person comes to collect food and we, and then we just dish it into their pots or lunch boxes or little buckets that they bring. Mm -hmm. So this also cuts down on the number of people frequenting the place. Mm -hmm. Also, we have given people time slots. So people will come from four o'clock up until 10 past four, we deal with the first group and the second group will come in at quarter past four up until 25 past four. And we go like that. So we, we deal, we try to deal with small numbers of people, even though we know that we'll be covering for 848 people, for example, mm -hmm. they don't exactly come in that exact number. We mm -hmm. try to cut it down and give a little bit of rules and regulation so that we avoid the spread of COVID whilst mm -hmm. we're trying to help people. You touched on the spread of COVID. I see you've got your mask around your neck already. Um, yeah. How are you guys ensuring that people uh, abide by the rules of everything that's been set? One of them being that everyone must have a mask and so forth. When you have 800 people coming uh, on a day to day, how do you go about ensuring that 800 people abide by the rules that are set by uh, yes. that are related uh, to COVID? The first days uh, when I started, it was next to impossible because mm -hmm. people just wanted to eat but i realized if i tell them that you cannot collect food if you don't have a mask they would respond better if i'd known this i would have started doing this earlier so now they've gotten the swing of it they'll come with a mask uh still trying to work on on insisting that leave your house with a mask on because most of them when they arrive to my place that's when they start putting on the mask Mm -hmm. So we still want, we're still looking for ways that we can make it a fun process. Like mm -hmm. enjoy putting your mask on. If I mm -hmm. walk out and I see you with your mask on, who knows, you might get an extra spoon of cabbage. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, uh, earlier on, you highlighted that you guys are working in Chitungi. So is that the only area that you guys are working in? Yes, it's the only area that I'm working in. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that you've highlighted that the the amount of people that are coming to you now uh, in search of uh, help with regards to food, is there anyone that you're working with on this process, or is this a load that you're carrying by yourself? It was until about four or five days ago. I have had people chip in. National Foods gave me about five hundred kgs of millimil mill and mm -hmm. twenty kgs of beans and ten kgs of salt. Um, there's Orange Solar. It's a local company. Uh, they have been helping me. One of the people that one of the first people to come and help me bringing uh, your soya chunks, your cabbages, tomatoes, moral support. They've always, they've been really on point. And um, there's uh, Vincent and friends. It's a group of friends that also chipped in and bought lots of groceries and sent them through. And there are individuals who have been coming to my inbox or to my WhatsApp and uh, asking for our banking details or eco cash so that we get money from them. So there's a it, it's been the four days have been heaven. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lie. They've been really wow. helping out and. Yeah, I'm, uh, I know right now, even if I was to have a crowd of a thousand people tomorrow, I'd be able to feed them because I have backing from the community. All right, Maria Zimbabwe, you just heard there from uh, Samantha to shout out to Zimbabwe, young girl. I know Garauko Kuchi Tungwiza. For those that are looking to watch the full interview that I had with Samantha, uh, you will, the full interview will be available on our Facebook page, VOA Studio 7, Jakarepa website, Yedu, www.voazimbabwe.com. Lizwe, Mtuagazo Mutle, Osakulayo, Usamanta Murzoki, Iena, Uya Pila Pila, she lives, Echitungwiza, Usamanta Usando, Ukala Ushelo, Oluchonge, Ugusiza Pela, Izakamiz, Ze chitungwiza no guba pege la pela uwusha uche lo lolu usta samanta uyasho ngem pelu uzi mm wakala gula bantu abai twenty-four manje se gubuya abantu abesula one hundred eight hundred and one.
day. Ino luta bebe silalo kushe lo tashuka kumakume chirongwa chelu cha nasi murie Zimbabwe. Nasi mchirongwa changa chibata nyeje chiruere che coronavirus focusing on its effect on the world. Tichitari sa shikare chirongwa e kuitwa newe chidiki munyeka. Uh, that target helping the less fortunate. Linga kukoshu pela uguti abafisu koto lami nkona kutu social media ku Twitter njalo ku Instagram at bigmike3, b-i-g-m-y-k-e-3. For those that are looking to watch this program, don't forget uguti ushe lo lolu will be available on our three facebook pages voa studio 7 voa shona we are zepa voa in devele anokoneka in emfaro ndini wenyu mike hove so shangana next week at same time same place talk as a moshe zimbabwe moshe bye bye